Hi, I am Rajita Hetiarachi and I am the co-writer and co-director of the play Greece Chaka Returns which is produced by Anand Drama and supported by Kehel Mala. Like I said, I co-write and co-direct the play with Nishanta De Silva. I am not going to play with you. I am not going to play with you. And the play is really an exploration of fear and how personal prejudices of people influenced uh, by certain, certain stigmas that exist in our societies and how that develops into social phobia and how that in turn develops into violence and destruction and division in our society. So this play is something that's really interesting about this play is that it's a bilingual play. It, uh, the dialogue is in both English and Sinhala and it's also very much an ensemble piece in the sense of there is not one main character but there is a cast of about 30 actors which includes some uh, no, well-known and perhaps unknown faces as well in uh, English and Sinhala theatre in Sri Lanka. We have Nadun Disanayaka, Charit Disanayaka, Eraj Gunavardhana, uh, Tilen Uderatna, Lakshita, Edri Singha who might, might be familiar faces to anyone who has watched Anand Rama productions but we also have uh, Dimitri Gunatilaka, Dinu Vikramage, we have Vishan Gunavardhana joining us again, uh, we have Thanuja Jayavardhana joining us uh, for a role this time. So, a lot of known faces, a lot of faces that we've also worked with. When the grease comes off, it could be anyone. Na na, who are you the principal? Who is 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 the principal? Coming into this play as a new cast member, I've seen the play before in 2019, loved it. It's really exciting for me to be part of the cast um, in a play that I really find to be meaningful. Ah, Hi, my name is Lakshita and I play the character of Arun in this play. I think before, before talking about Greece, I think I need to speak a bit about Ananda Drama as an organization. Ananda Drama was established as a non-profit organization in 2013 and I have been a part of Ananda Drama and its productions ever since its inception. Um, why Anand the Drama was started was to help English theatre related activities in school, that is Anand the College. Uh, we were all a product of Anand the College and uh, I myself was a part of English theatre activities back uh, in school. And uh, from that was where we, where I started my acting journey. I won't believe you. I don't break it, I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it, I don't want to break it. Oh, we think me am making Mahaluku Sudu Putane. Sahani, isn't that your creepy neighbor? Arin? Hi, uh, my name is Ayudhya, and in Greece Yaka Returns, I am playing one of the opportunists. My name is Iraj, and in Greece Yaka Returns, I also play the character of an opportunist. Me, can it be? Ye mama get a gaving at the me, minia hitty on him hard of our villa. Jarab, who's a good tatagaga hitty. Hi, my name is Nadun Disana Aika. I'm playing the role of the dark politician. Hi, my name is Dinu Vikramage. I'm playing the role of Charini in Greece Akarita. And I'm Charit Disana Aika and I'm playing the uh, role of fair politician. Here, Brian is the one. Huh? Here, Tabeka. What the hell is he doing with Braz? Can you hear me? I have worked with 
most of the actors in the play before, but it's interesting for me stepping into a role um, which was played by someone I really respect and admire before um, and giving it my own character and personality to it. <laughs> We're pretty excited to get back on stage and do this play again about three years later. Yeah, I think both of us, we've been in the play since it started. Um, and, and you must be wondering why we're repeating this so many times. But um, one thing is that the con content of the play is timeless and relevant to so many um, kind of situations, especially in Sri Lanka. So I think it's still something that's very re relatable as an audience. <laughs> I think every time we stage it, there are situations that's happening in the country that's more relatable to uh, the play. So I think that's why you need to come and watch the play. He'd make a great Grease Shaka. Mrs. Grease Shaka. I think my creepy neighbor is the Grease Shaka. Uh, my character is Arukshi. There is a lot being portrayed about class and a certain idea of status, um, wealth, who is seen as valuable and who is seen as effective and important. I'm really, really enjoying this character because uh, it's a lot of fun to play. It seems absurd and ridiculous, but it is also quite chilling how real some of it feels, um, how dark. And, and scary it is that a lot of us probably have lived through experiences that you might see on stage. Uh, although it is portrayed in a really humorous, comedic, absurd kind of way. Working with Anand Drama has been great for me. I really do think they're quite um, organized and, and well established. It's refreshing because English theatre in Sri Lanka, I think, needs that kind of professionalism. Destiny. Me do a vendetti. I'm playing the role of the dark politician. I am supposed to represent a certain social movement of the society where I'm, I'm representing a certain angered and frustrated community of this Greece Saka universe. What now? Why are you moving away from me? But you're embarrassed to be seen with me here also. No. So you are embarrassed to be seen with me? No, it's just... So my character Charini is actually the only rational person in the entire play of like a 25 people ensemble cast. She's actually the voice of sanity when the whole uh, country is going into chaos because of this irrational fear that's spread around uh, because of people like politicians and the media and other people that you see who are very uh, close to home, who you can see in everyday society trying to manipulate society. <laughs> My character is basically, it's a very powerful personality who will do anything to keep that power uh, and uh, actually grow that power. So that's where the whole uh, uh, story comes from uh, if, I, if I'm to talk about my character. But am I coming home from work tonight? I don't know, depends on work. Work? Work, work, all the time, work with Charini. 
we kind of completely keep a blind eye on characters like uh, Dinu's character where like she realizes what's happening and uh, no one is actually listening to her or no one is actually catering to what she wants to achieve sort of thing. I think it's it's so much richer in content and it has been so well updated to reflect what we see and what we hear in the media and everywhere around us in uh, in the society. It's actually quite sad that it's still as relevant as it was in 2018 and I really invite everyone to come and see why it's still relevant and why we should, I feel like we need to progress as a society but we're still stuck on these really, um, I don't know, just, just these sad aspects of society where we allow people to manipulate us, people in power, like the media and politicians, so. And the look, I'm a sunny panel. I thought we'd take some soup and go and see her in the evening. You know, I don't know what I'm saying. Amma. Amma done at the end of your pen and bag yellow. And I'm not a bell, I can eat a gila me soup, did he call us here and what's wrong with you, child? Particularly my character, Arun, I think, uh, in my understanding, represents the youth in today's society who Although, contrary to everyone's expectations, despite the education and the exposure that the youth in today's society may have, are perhaps uh, some of the most easily uh, manipulated groups in society. <laughs> It's just not safe for you, child. What happens to Arun in this play is also interesting. The play actually starts off with Arun. Arun uh, and Sahani and Sahani's brother making fun out of their neighbour, who uh, they jokingly refer to as the Grisiaka. And the play really starts from there and the fear starts to get into society. It seeps into society and it, it grows and grows to a point where Arun is pushed to certain extremes, uh, so to speak, he goes into the dark side. So Arun, who starts off as, a, as an awkward lover, ultimately ends up being a criminal. And he, he goes through that entire journey throughout the play. Grisiaka returns, we first performed in 2018 uh, at the Lionel Went. And afterwards, like I said, this, was, this is a bilingual play, so there's a lot of English and Sinhala that is in the dialogue. And we wanted to really open out this play to the Sinhala theatre audience as well, because a lot of our uh, Ananda dramas audience base is in English theatre. So we wanted to really open this play out to the Sinhala theatre. And for that purpose, in 2019, we uh, entered the play into the State Drama Festival, which is obviously, obviously the biggest theatre festival in Sri Lanka. And we were surprised at the, well, at the welcome reception that we got there, in terms of the number of awards that we won. Uh, we won Best Play, uh, Best Director, uh, Best Original Script, and I believe seven other awards, uh, and also I think uh, Best Supporting Actor. You know something. At least when you're older, I thought I'll have some peace of mind. Maybe if you stop worrying about everything I'm doing, then you'll have some peace of mind. Yes, I don't <laughs> so when Grisaka Returns was going to be staged again, that is on the 20th of August 2023, we were all very excited to come on board and uh, make it a part of Anand Drama's 10 year anniversary. Um, so just a message to everyone, if you haven't watched Grisaka Returns or even if you have watched Grisaka Returns, please do come and watch us on the 20th of August. We have two shows, one at 3.30 p.m. and one at 7.30 p.m. Our plan is this time to uh, reach out to more of the students as well as university students because we really think that this is a story that needs to be told to everyone. So, hoping to see everyone there.
We performed the play a couple of times in 2019 and the last time that the play was performed was at the Bharat Rang Mahotsav in India which is the largest, one of the largest theatre festivals in the world and definitely the largest theatre festival in Asia. Uh, so we performed the play in India and we were the sole representative from Sri Lanka in 2020. Right after it was performed in India was when Covid struck and even though we had uh, plans of continuing the play and its journey we were unable to do so because of Covid and now that things, uh, things have se seemed to have calmed down a little bit and we've been able to uh, get our bearings together again. We've decided to bring the play back because we feel that the themes are just as important, perhaps even more important than they were when we first uh, staged it. The tickets are out at the moment. You can get the tickets uh, at the venue. The box plan is, uh, box at plan the is available. And the tickets, the tickets are priced at yes. between 1,000 to 3,000. So Greece Yaka Returns will be staged on the 20th of August. At the Lionel Wind, there are two shows, one at 3.30 in the afternoon and there's another one at 7.30 in the night. So we earnestly implore with you to come and see it because you shouldn't be missing it. It's a very good play. It's a must-see for anyone, I think, who lives in Sri Lanka. If you are someone who has watched the play before, we have a few new elements coming into the play which would make the play a fresh experience for you. And if you are not someone who has watched the play before, then be sure to catch it this time. You won't regret it. Hey, Manju sir. Hey, Manju sir.